Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be doing a slim thick workout. Now, if you're wondering what on earth is a slim thick workout, it's basically a workout that enables you to pick up your cardiovascular fitness while keeping all your muscle gains. So really getting that body nice and lean, but still keeping the muscle bulk okay cardio does not have to rob you of your muscle and you don't have to sacrifice your curves slash gains in order to develop other areas of fitness so i'm going to show you um three different moves and a whole workout that i did the other day that was so good like look how sweaty i am guys super sweaty it's it's, it's a real workout we did not come to play click thumbs up subscribe leave a comment and let's get straight into it so we are starting with the warm up now for warm up at my new gym i now do warm up drills which just makes my heart so happy like just full-on athlete style drills and yeah i love it if you'd like a whole video on the drills that i do and why i do them then just let me know but it's just a really good way of getting the blood flowing loosening up uh your muscles uh getting into the workout and also just working on your technique so your alignment your pelvic tilt and everything i love me some athletics drills it's the kind of warm-up that will have you thinking, was that the warm-up or the workout once you finish? Uh, so it is quite tiring. But yeah, I just really enjoy warming up in this way instead of running on a treadmill. But whatever warm-up you want to do, to be honest, as long as you, you know, as long as it gets the job done. And uh, yeah, moving on. After I've done some drills, I move on to some dynamic stretches. So uh, this is a good way of increasing the range of movement of my joints and my muscles again loosening them up then once i've done that i move on to the foam roller now foam roller it's always a little bit awkward i'm not gonna lie you know people are gonna look at you in the gym like why is that like why is she grinding all over a foam roller but do you know what it's the best it is absolutely key to preventing injury uh, it's kind of like a massage for your muscles so what you want to do is roll each muscle group along the foam roller the more weight that you put on it the more pressure that will be applied and when you feel like you've hit a tight spot just kind of stay there and hold it there and really let the muscle ease out so foam rolling is key for injury prevention and then i move on to some static stretches as you can see i'm really trying to pick up my stretching ability and become more flexible slowly getting there one stretch at a time um, and yeah and that kind of concludes my whole warm-up from drills dynamic stretching foam rolling and static stretching by the way i appreciate that i'm kind of running through these bits and bobs in order to get to the actual workout but if you do want a video on like foam rolling and stuff like a full-on explanation then just let me know in the comments but for now we are going to move on to the first exercise of the workout which is the sled drive push whatever you want to call it i love this exercise now the reason why i think it's great for that slim thick bow day is because this exercise is really explosive in order to get the power to push the sled, you really need to recruit your muscle fibers. Now, the muscle fibers that we're recruiting on this exercise are the fast twitch ones. Now, these are the fibers which have more capacity to grow in size. Although they fatigue quicker, they can recruit a lot of power in a short space of time. So the aim of this exercise is to generate as much power with each stride as possible. I'm keeping my core tight, my elbows sucked in, and I'm driving with the legs. And making sure that your body is aligned so that you are receiving all that power with each step as you push with the foot that's on the ground you want to drive through with the opposite knee now I'm going to show you again and slow it down and show you that what I mean by the alignment so if you notice as I drive through my shoulder hip knee and foot are all in a straight line the power that is being generated by the quads glutes and hamstrings is all going straight through right up to my shoulder so i'm really pushing my body forward and driving that opposite knee up and straight in front now what i want you to think of when you do this exercise is really extending that position so try and stay in that position for as long as you can don't cut your stride but imagine that you are driving out of the blocks and really getting as much power as you can with each step and as you see it's pretty tiring the next exercise in my slim thick workout is uh, the box jump. I love me some box jumps. So I'm using, I think it was 36 inches and five foot three and a half. So this was a challenge. I did not come to play. 
I did not come to play. Um, this is pretty high for me. So choose a height that is challenging, but also not one that you're just going to kind of, you know, not be able to do. Um, because what you want to have to do is really recruit a lot of power. Again, we're doing plyometrics. We are doing explosive work to really get those fast twitch fibers working honey okay so i kind of like to pulse before i jump that just helps me to uh put mind to muscle really activate uh the glutes and jump as high as i can landing softly on my heels and the last exercise because y'all know i like to keep it simple is the sandbag thrust i feel like i should have named this something else but it is what it says um so grabbing a sandbag just because it's easier for your life and doing some hip thrusts so if you want to target the booty a bit more and get the glutes really active you can turn your feet out slightly and bring your feet closer towards your bum. Bringing your feet closer towards your bum will target the glutes more. Pushing your feet further out will target the hamstrings more. So you can do five sled sprints, followed by 10 box jumps, followed by 15 sandbag thrusts and repeat the whole thing between two and four times whatever suits and last but not least the real important bit of building a slim thick bode is to eat you really need to be eating after your workouts to fuel the muscle building uh, you need to eat protein and carbs so don't be afraid to eat have a good meal after your workout and get your rest okay Thank you so much for watching and thanks to everyone who voted for this workout on my Instagram story. If you don't have me on Instagram, then make sure you join me because you can vote for what videos you want to see. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try this workout and what you think of the video. Please don't forget to share this video with a friend and subscribe for more vids. And yeah, thanks so much for being my internet friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye.